Hi Year 12, this uh, short video is going to outline what's required of you in the upcoming trial exams. So on your gold sheet you'll see the overview. So this is your fourth assessment task for English and it's weighted at 30%. Now it's not um, happening until week three next term. We're giving out the notification quite early because we want you to be prepared but you'll see later on in my presentation that we also want to use this as a study strategy. So you can build some techniques over the next few weeks to prepare for those two papers. Now the actual date will be released when the timetable comes out. Most likely English will be first. You'll see that there are the four outcomes that we are assessing and this is a formal in the uh, gym exam. Okay, so English is the only subject that has two exams. Now, we've designed the trials to replicate as closely as we can the expectations of the real HSC. So there'll be two papers sat on two different days. Uh, most likely you'll do paper one on the Monday of the exam week, go home, have a sleep, come back and do paper two. Like I said, the dates will be confirmed later. Paper one is the common module. Now you've already had a bit of experience with this when you did your skills week test in the gym. So standard and advanced, there's common area. You'll see on the, exam, on the uh, gold sheet that you'll have 10 minutes reading time in this paper and 90 minutes writing time. 10 minutes reading time because it has paper, section one is the reading task where you'll be reading unseen texts that are a range of text types. So if you cast your mind back to the workshop that we all went through in the theater, you need to get comfortable identifying techniques native to that particular medium. So it could be from a feature article, from a magazine, a piece of poetry, a piece of prose fiction, it could have visuals. That section is 20 marks and 45 minutes in length. Like the skills test though, no one's going to tell you when section one should be finished and moving on to section two. You need to manage your own time. I've also been quite deliberate in giving you more details for the trial than you'll get in the HSC. So you can see there that I am going to be including a slightly longer response that asks you to synthesize argument across two texts. So short answers about unseen texts and a slightly longer one where you need to maybe compare or evaluate two of the texts in the booklet. Paper uh, section two, pardon me, section two is your critical essay, which is about 1984. So same, 20 marks, 45 minutes. I would probably say that confidently uh, more people spend time on 1984 than they do on the reading task. But notice that they're both weighted equally, they're 20 marks each. So don't spend too much time on the essay to the detriment of your reading task, which we saw happen quite a bit in the skills test. You need to manage that time wisely. I've also made a note that unlike your podcast, you will not need a related text for this. So in your podcast, you had to refer to one other text. It is just a straight 1984 essay for the first paper. Okay, so at the end of that paper, you'll go home, have a sleep, come back the next day. So the next day is paper two, and that's where the course deliberately splits. So advanced will have a completely different paper to the standard kids. So paper two is only five minutes reading time because you don't have those big extracts to read. Unlike your essay that you did recently for King Henry, you cannot mark the paper in those five minutes. So it's reading time only, not writing or planning. So that five minutes allows you to quickly get comfortable and familiar with the three different questions. And then you'll have two hours to write three responses. Those three responses are mod A, mod B, mod C. So the trial is a full paper. Module A is your textual conversations module, which is Plath and Hughes. Module B is your King Henry essay. And module C is the craft of writing. So unlike the HSC, I've actually given you a little bit more detail of what's going to be involved in the paper. So you'll see under section three, there will be two parts to it. You'll need to do a writing component where it could be imaginative, discursive, persuasive or informative, plus a reflection. So the reflection will be asking you to self-assess or evaluate how your studies have shaped your own writing. 
So because you know that, it's best to be prepared for that and have some links to Module C ready to go. So what Module C text that you've studied and how that's influenced you as a composer. <clears throat> all three are weighted equally, all three are given the same amount of time in the exam, and it's up to you to manage those 40 minute blocks. So like I said, we're giving this out quite early because we want you to be preparing yourself over the coming weeks and setting some learning goals and some study strategy techniques are on the page in front of you. So this is just one method. A lot of you might have had different strategies prepared and I hope some of you have seen my presentation that I did at the hubs about how to study for English. So what I've created here is a list of activities or tasks that you can complete. They're divided into the five sections. Some are harder than others. So some might be responding to an exam question under time conditions. Others could be things like making vocab lists or palm cards with your quotes on them. And there's a few generic tips at the bottom. The message I want you to receive is that when you are studying, it should be hard. It's not just about I'm going to rewrite out my notes in a nice coloured pen and, and doing that mindlessly. The harder the study, the more intellectually engaging it's going to be and hopefully um, the more confident you'll feel going into the real paper. So what I urge you to do now is when we stop this video to read through all of the strategies or all of the tasks rather on the sheet in front of you and start highlighting or annotating what are the ones that you think you should prioritise and you might even want to get to the point where you rank them down the right hand side. So if you feel particularly weak, let's say about module C, you didn't do as well as you'd like, you think I really need to rewrite something, maybe that should be your earlier priorities. Or maybe your reflection was really rushed and underprepared. You need to work on that and making genuine links to the Module C texts. Everyone's priority order will be different, but I urge you to use this as a way to structure your, strate your study strategies over the coming weeks. If you have any questions, please you know, have a chat to your English teachers or come and see me and um, I'll be happy to help. Okay, good luck and study hard.